According to research, around 20% of adoptions end up not being fulfilled due to many reasons, including the birth mother changing her mind. Andy and Leah now were facing the obstacle many couples seeking to start a family face. Should we go on, try again, or just stop? For believers, it is one of the most faith-filled decisions you can make as a couple. The investment not only of emotions and time, but also finances can be overwhelming and can go on for years. But for Andy and Leah, they felt they knew God had called them on this journey. And despite a setback, they were willing to take a step in faith again. And what would happen next would change their thoughts on how their adoption would work. And it would all begin with a call from an old friend. I got a phone call from a friend of mine who said, hey, I've got a friend that I grew up with in high school and her younger sister or his younger sister is pregnant. Um, and they want a Christian family um, to, to raise this little boy. And our first placement was going to be, our first child was going to be a boy too. Um, and so we knew, we just knew that this is what what God wanted. Leah was doing the scores, the ticker and everything for Sports Report, and she runs into my office 10 minutes before the show where I'm trying to get everything together and people are saying, oh, I just got this, and it's madness. Yes. Anyone who's been there, it's madness. And, and she runs in and shows me her flip phone. I stick it right there in front of his face, in front of him, between him and the computer. And it says, will you adopt my baby boy? And I was like, <laughs> All these emotions came rushing back right. because of all we'd gone through. Did we ever think we'd get to this point again? Right. And the baby was due in December, so this is three months away. And so I put all that away and I go do sports report and then it was 90 minutes. Right. And getting ready to come back to us, me for the last block and Mark Shine says, and we understand Andy's gonna be a dad. Congratulations, Andy, back to you. <laughs> okay, Mark, <laughs> let's take a break. <laughs> We got to we got to get to know his birth mom, and um, about a month after that, we got to actually meet her for the first time face to face. And we went out to dinner with her and her mom. And um, it was at that moment that um, when we walked out of that restaurant, that we knew God was up to something, um, because. All along, leading up to this point, we had been very convinced that we were going to have a closed adoption and that we didn't want to have any connection whatsoever with birth families um, because we were just, we were scared. We were scared of what would happen. And we walked out of that restaurant knowing that adoption was much more than just a way to build a family, that it was much more than just a way to love on a child, that there were so many other people involved in this story. Um, the, the birth parents, the, the, the birth grandparents, the extended family. I mean, there were so many more um, components and people that were involved in this than we ever considered. And, you know, we sat in the car before we pulled away and we made the decision that this was going to be um, an open adoption. And um, we, we wanted that. We wanted to be able to stay connected. And so, um, and so we have. It has been, um, it's had its ups and its downs. Um, we would, our, our option, open adoption would probably, um, in technical terms, would probably be considered kind of like a semi-open adoption because there's not a ton of face-to-face um, -face interaction. But we, you know, I, text with her a few times a year and um, we get together with her and we meet um, we meet with her twice a year usually on summer break and Christmas break it's been a challenge because there have been on our end with our kids there have been questions um, and we've had to navigate those waters and we've had to um, we've had to answer tough questions um, but something that we have been telling our kids from um, from the beginning before they even knew what we were telling them was that um, that God picked them special just for us. I wouldn't change it. Hmm. I wouldn't change it. it. It's been hard at times, but I wouldn't change a thing.